Hi everyone. Today I'm going to teach you an art process you can use to create flowers out of just some objects you probably have at home. We're going to start with um, a big paper towel roll and I cut it down a little bit so it's a little bit larger than a toilet paper roll, okay? That helps the little ones hold it. Now, grown-ups, this is the step that you do. This is your part. You are going to cut strips in this paper towel, approximately the same length, approximately the same width. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about it. Go all the way around. Then you're going to open that up. Just like that. Now the first part of this project is that you could actually have the kids color on these petals and make a bunch of them and stand them up in the living room and make their own garden. But that's a different project. But it is kind of an extension of this one if you would like to try it. There's lots of ways we can experiment with art supplies to bring out the creativity in our children. So the first thing you're going to do is um, find some paint that you can use for this. I'm just using a craft paint. Um, you wanna make sure that whatever paint you have has um, a label on it that says that it's non-toxic, especially if your child is still young enough where they're putting things in their mouth, which is possible within the age range of this class. Um, if you have a child that is still putting things in their mouth, there's a pretty good chance they're gonna look at this paint and say, hey, I don't know, maybe that looks a little tasty. So kids, we never, ever, ever put paint in our mouth, but mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, whoever is watching them, you wanna make sure that if they are young enough to be thinking things like that, maybe we wanna make sure that we have a non-toxic paint or alternatively, there are many um, paint recipes online that you could ask me about and I could suggest for you that I could have you make something that is non-toxic. So the first thing we're gonna do is mix up the paint so it's kind of thinner, like you can see there. And the great thing about this project is it's so easy and so fun and anybody can do it. All right, kiddos, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start moving our paint around in there and just banging it around on that plate so we cover our whole flower. We could even pull out our paintbrush and put a little paint on that way and get paint on all of our petals, just like that. We wanna cover all of our petals really nice then we're gonna go over to our paper. And we're gonna go around like that. I'm moving mine in a circle. When you do that, it helps spread it out a little bit. Now, you probably want there to be a little bit of a different color on there. This is where kids can have so much fun mixing the colors. Everybody loves to mix colors. I'm gonna mix a nice purple in there. Dip that in there. see that. You might even want to grab a little purple from over here and put a little dark purple on there. They don't have to paint it. They don't have to uh, use the paintbrush if they don't want to, but sometimes it's fun for them. Go around like that. Now the amount that you stamp it, if you just stamp it a few times, it looks different than if you stamp it a bunch of times. Okay, so I have my second flower on there. Now this is the part of the project where you're going to find some things around the house that you might use for the middle of your flowers. 
maybe you have a little bag of puff balls like this. Now this is great if again, if you have a child the age where you don't have to worry about them putting these in their mouth, this is a great choice. Another great choice is tissue paper um, from gift wrapping that you can just ball up and wad into little tiny pieces and you can use that. Um, if you have a child that is still the age where they may put things in their mouth, there are some other options too. So let's start by putting in the middle of this flower. Now this, this type of glue is the worst for small children. It's very hard to squeeze. This kind of bottle gets clogged all the time. I always just unscrew the cap, put it in a bowl and give your child um, a Q-tip or better yet, a paintbrush to um, put the glue in there. I'm gonna put some glue on this one too. Cause it's just so frustrating because they just don't have the muscles in their hands yet sometimes to be squeezing this. Okay, so let's start with someone who is old enough where we are not worrying about choking hazards. They can go ahead and put their puff balls on there any way they want to. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Whatever makes them happy. Okay, I'll just fill those in. And then on the other side of things, the child that we are worried about, you know, them putting things in their mouth you just gotta get a little more creative with this. Um, we can make accessible art for anyone. Just have to think, okay, what's gonna be safe for them to use? I like using cereal is a good example. These are Honey Nut Cheerios. Stick them in there. You can use Kix as another good cereal that works for this. Alphabet noodles, tiny little um, round noodles, like um, the really baby tiny pasta. Anything that you can stick in there. Collage can be fun for any age if we make it accessible. Okay, kids, so we're just gonna stick all of our fun stuff in the center there to make the center of our flower. My puff balls keep popping up there. And then I'm gonna think, okay, what do I want this, the color in the middle of my flower to be? I have a little bit of yellow on here. I'm gonna add a little bit of orange. And I'm gonna grab a bigger brush. Okay. And then you can just have them. I suggest letting that dry because they'll move around on you. Let the glue dry. Then let them go ahead and paint the center. Because that is super fun. I mean, if you were two years old, you would love to paint Cheerios. Okay. So now we have our two flowers. You could just fill up the whole page with flowers and that would be just fine. Um, Older children, four years old, five years old, sometimes threes, are going to want to add some stems maybe to the picture with a crayon or a marker or something like that. Younger ones could just do lines, scribbles for grass. Any kind of green lines going around this is just gonna make it better. Some leaves. This is the part where they could really add their own creativity, especially if they're a little bit older, they might wanna add bees or bugs or butterflies or grass or anything they want. Okay, well, I hope you like the project and have a great day.